Hi everyone, welcome to my channel where I will crochet it forward in this video by sharing my cat pattern. I know a lot of you guys have seen this out there. Um, this is very similar to it. However, I have like made some changes uh, to customize it uh, for my pattern. Uh, little tweaks here and there, but still very user friendly, very doable. Um, uh, so let's get started. So the materials you're going to need are, um, is possibly um, a measuring tape. Scrap yarn is great for this project. You will need a sewing needle, some scissors, and also I am using an H 5.0 millimeter crochet hook. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is grab your yarn that you're going to use and you want to chain multiples of five. So like I said, I'm just going to show you the pattern initially and then I'll show you how I connected to make the cowl and then I'll show you how um, I made the hat, which is a different starting stitch count, um, but very similar. We just needed it to, um, we just needed to adjust the chain count so it would taper. So I have chain 20 and then in the second chain from your hook, I'm going to make a single crochet and then in that front left loop, I'm going to make another single crochet. This is the alternative chain two. This is going to count as our first double crochet. In the next stitch, we want to make a double crochet. We want to skip two stitches, one, two, and into the third, make two double crochets. chain one and then two more double crochets in that same stitch. We're going to skip four stitches, one, two, three, four, and into the fifth we're going to repeat that um, two double crochets, I like to call it like a double V stitch, chain one and two double crochets. We're going to skip four. Make sure you're looking at the bottom loops. One, two, three, four. I know sometimes it can be confusing. And into that fifth stitch, we're going to make two double crochets, a chain one, and two double crochets. Okay, we're going to skip two, one, two, and in the last two stitches, we are going to make a double crochet in each. So at the beginning of our row, we have two double crochets, and at the end of the row, we have two double crochets. Now again, you can make this as long as you want. Um, also, um, what I did is I did a single crochet row back to even this out. Um, that's totally optional. And what we're going to do for our sides to make them as straight as possible is lift our hook, insert from the side, turn our work, and in that same stitch, we're going to make an alternative chain two. Oops. Okay, and that is a single crochet, and then a single crochet in that front left loop. And then in the next stitch, we're going to make a double crochet. And then we're just going to skip right into, whoops, let me go back here. I only made... one double crochet in there. So let's learn from my mistake here. Make sure you have two double crochets before you go to your next row or even your next stitch. Okay, turn our work, make our alternative chain two, which counts as our first double crochet another double crochet in the next stitch and then hop in between this chain one space and repeat that stitch from the previous row which is two double crochets a chain one two double crochets I'm sorry which is the pattern go into our next chain one space and repeat that two double crochets chain one two double crochets. So essentially we're just repeating the first row, only 
uh, without the chain. Go into our next chain one space and make our double V, two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Okay, and that that should leave these last two. We're going to make a double crochet in the next double crochet next to the last stitch of the previous row. And then at the top of that single crochet we made, we're going to make a double crochet. Okay, so here actually we change yarns change colors to start your third row. So you can change colors any way you want. Um, there's not any, it's not going to affect the pattern. So I just changed colors. I yarned over into, um, for that second yarn over of my double crochet. I'm going to turn my work and I'm going to do my alternative chain two in that same stitch. And then again, another double crochet in the next stitch. And then this is where the pattern kind of changes. The first three rows are different. So what we're going to do now is going to go down two rows, and then we're going to we're we're not going to yarn over. We're going to just insert our hook into that first row right here, that space after the chain two, and we're going to pull up our yarn. Okay. And then we're going to yarn over and do the same thing. Pull it up. It's like a spike stitch. And then we're going to yarn over and pull through all of them. And that's going to be our first paw or our, our uh, first leg of our cat. So in the next chain one space, we're going to go ahead and repeat that pattern. The double V, two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. So on the other side, these spaces right here is where you're always going to put your legs. So go in two rows down, pull up your loop, make sure it's in alignment with the row you're on, yarn over, go in again, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through all two, three, four of them, and then chain one to seal it. Okay, hop into our next chain one space and make two double crochets chain one, two double crochets. And also I want to share that you can um, control the speed of this video by going to your settings. If you want to see a, a stitch um, crocheted slower. Again, we're always going to go into the two rows down. Oops, no yarn over. Pull up our loop. There's two loops on our hook, yarn over. Go in that same one, pull up a loop. Now we have four, yarn over, pull through all of them. It's gonna be awkward at first. I'm not even joking. Chain one to seal, but if you really wanna learn this stitch, it's worth it. And the more you do it, the better you get at it. So practice makes perfect. And then just repeat that double V. It really does look more complicated than what it is. And then again, two rows down, up our loop, yarn over, go into that same stitch, pull up a loop, four on your hook, one, two, three, four, five, yarn over, chain one. And now you just need to push these stitches over to get to the top of those to make a double crochet. Because we always start rows with double crochets, two double crochets, and then we also end them with two double crochets. Okay, pull up our loop, come in from the side. The yarn is stuck here. And now we're just going to repeat um, the second row that we did, which is a single crochet and then another single crochet, the alternative chain two, right in that same stitch. And then we're going to go ahead and make another double crochet. And these are just regular. We're going to go into that next chain one space, 
and two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Hop over to your next chain one space and do the same thing, two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Once you get used to this pattern, it's like becomes super easy. Next chain one space, no, it, we're just ignoring everything in between. Two, chain one, two. Okay, now we're over here. We're going to ignore this leg right here, and then we're just looking for the last two double crochets so that we can make another double crochet on top of each one of those to finish our row. So it is recommended that you use um, at least two colors alternating. Um, but we're going to make three rows of each color. So we need to do one more over here. And we're just going to do the exact same thing. We're going to repeat the previous row. So we're doing our alternative chain two. And then another double crochet. This one counted as our first double crochet. Again, two double crochets. Chain one, two double crochets. Okay. And then now we're just going to hop into the next one and repeat that. Two double crochets. Oops. Getting ahead of myself here. Chain one, two double crochets. Okay, skip over all that. Go into your next chain one space. Two double crochets. Chain one, two double crochets. And then we hop right over here to our last two stitches and make a double crochet on top of each one of them. And that second stitch is always going to be that single crochet that we made in the front left loop of the first single crochet of our alternative chain two. And look how how nice and neat those sides are. So now, whoops, I did it again. I'm changing colors back. All right, so I just changed colors back to my gray. And um, so the first color, if you can remember, every time you do a color change, you're gonna have to do these spiked stitches. You can remember that you got this, and then plus your double V, you're pretty much set. It's just getting um, familiar with that. So we're going to go ahead and make that alternative chain two for our first double crochet of this row. Another double crochet. And then we're going to go down two rows and then make our spike. Remember, do not yarn over. You only yarn over after you've picked up your yarn. Two rows down. Yarn over, go through all of them, chain one to seal. Now we're going to go into our next chain two. I mean chain one, I'm sorry. Well, I don't know what happened with that. I think I picked up some scragglers or something. So there's one double crochet, two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet. You just got to remember, okay, now it's time to do my spike or my, my cat leg. And this next stitch is always going to be two down. See, I had to catch myself. I was yarning over. Pull up a loop. Go through all of them. Chain one. Go to your next chain one space. And then make your double B. Two double crochets. Chain one. Two double crochets. So it's a repeat of row three, four, and five. Two, chain one, two. Oops, I'm sorry. And you'll probably find yourself doing this, like you get right going and next you know you're like, oh shoot, I forgot my legs. Yarn over, pull up, chain one, two double crochets. 
chain one. Next double, two doubles, and chain one, yeah, two doubles. Okay, and you'll, you'll also need to remember that after the two double crochets in this spike row, you will need to um, do your your spike or your leg, your double leg. So yarn over, pull up a loop. Now you can make these as tight as you want. It's just, you know, crocheter's choice. Pull up a loop, pull up a loop, yarn over, and then push them over. Push that cat leg over, and then you'll see the the top two stitches on this double crochet and then on top of that alternative chain two which is the single crochet oops that's not it there it goes okay now we're just repeating rows let's see three four five which is alternative chain two, a double crochet, and then hop right over to your next chain one space and make that double V. Chain one, double V. Okay, hop into your next chain one space and repeat. So I'm going to go ahead and finish, I'm going to do a couple more rows, I want to show you how you finish at the top. Okay, hop right into your next one, I'm going to finish this row together though, and then you can kind of get the gist, chain one. into your next two last two stitches for a double crochet Oops. okay so that's two but you'll see here why we need them three rows the first row is for like the paws and the body and then the next two for the head Two rows exactly identical for the um, the head and ears. So I'm going to finish up a couple more rows, and then I'll show you how to finish the top up. All right, so this is how you would finish it up with the two rows that are exactly the same, not the spike row. Just like we started with two rows at the bottom. Initially, two rows of the same with the no spike, and then we didn't do the spike until the third row. So that's how you want to finish this. Let me go grab some more yarn and I'll show you how to um, join um, how to join in the round to make this. Okay? All right, so for our hat, we're chaining our hat in multiples of four plus one. So I have chained 21 and then I single crocheted back for a total of 20. Okay, and now what we're going to do is slip to join. And you can also do this with your chain. But I just find it easier for me to do it this way and then come back and sew that chain row up. So in this first chain where we slip to join, there's this first stitch. We're going to make our alternative chain two, which is going to count as our first double crochet. And then another stitch, another double crochet. Now we're going to skip one, two, three, and then into the fourth. We're going to make our um, double V. It's exactly like we've been doing, is just in the round. Two, skip four, two, three, four. I'm sorry, skip three. One, two, three, and then the double V. One, two, chain one. 
to. Again, I want to remind you, you can control the set the speed of this video under your settings if you find that I'm going too fast. Two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets for our what we're calling in this video in my pattern a double B. One, two, three, and into our fourth. One, two, chain one, one, two. Then we should have, oops, I might help if I had this stitch. One, two, three, four. And then our fifth stitch is right here where we began. So in that same stitch where we had the alternative chain three where we started, we're going to make an alternative two double crochets and then a chain one and then we're going to slip stitch until we get to our first chain one space which is one two three four we're going to slip stitch four times five times the fifth will get you into your chain one space we are going to make an alternative double crochet, another double crochet, a chain one, and another double crochet. Now if you're following my pattern, you will notice that we have this little thing right here. All we have to do is take this and sew it to that to close that up, which I will do. Now if you slip to join in your chain row, you don't have to worry about that. And here we're just repeating our stitches. Just like the pattern, our first two rows are going to be identical, which is nothing but the double V stitches. So I'm going to go a little faster here. Hop into our next double. Chain one. Next double. Next chain one. Two doubles. Doubles, and I just want to show you again um, where we fasten up. Well, here's where we started our row chain one, double crochet. Now you're still going to have to change colors after your first two rows, which is exactly the same. All I'm going to show you is how we join our row, which is slip stitch in to that alternative chain two and then the double crochet and then here chain one you'd fasten up and right here you would do the same thing uh, and of course your third row is always going to be your legs so yeah and you'll see how it will start to taper off that way so go ahead and do how many rows that you need to to finish your hat so I want to show you how to finish off the hat so this this hat I made for one of my granddaughters to match her coat and I started here with burgundy and then went to teal pink purple I mean darker pink lighter pink and then I finished off my two rows and I just wanted to quickly show you how to um, bring the hat together so um, I've slip stitched all the way to the last row I've, I'm sorry to the last double V this is the length that I was looking for. I'm going to chain one and fasten off. But I'm going to leave a long enough tail. I'd say about 14 inches. And then pull it out. Let's grab our needle and I'll meet you back. All right, so I have the hat inside out. And from here, I'm just going to go in and out of stitches. And I'm going in the front. The first double crochet in and out alternating to the last double crochet in your double V's okay just like that all the way around once you've done I mean, once you've uh, sewed all the way around, you just want to pull it, pull your yarn like a drawstring, because this is closing the top of the hat. 
right? Be sure to have your your hat inside out. And then from here, we're just going to make a couple stitches to seal. A couple knot stitches. And I like to do them like straight across from each other, like a cross or a plus sign. Just be sure you're not grabbing too much of the... You want to be working in the top stitches and not like the row underneath. Okay? And then fasten up. Alright, so I've turned my hat inside out. And now we just want to make like a quick ribbing. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to attach uh, to the single crochet row. Slip stitch to join. And then make our alternative chain two because we have to make one row of double crochets. So that's my first one. And then I'm going to make my next one. Okay. And I'm actually not making these in the chain. I'm making them in the single crochet row that we made before. So go ahead and make one single crochet all the way around and I will meet you back. All right, so once you've gone around and made your first double crochet row, we're going to slip stitch to the top of our alternative chain two. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing. Make another alternative chain two in that same stitch. And then in the next stitch, we're going to um, back post double crochet. And that is yarning over going behind our front post I mean behind your double previous double crochet pull up a loop you have three on your hook yarn over go through two yarn over go through two next thing we're going to do is the opposite of that we're going to push this double crochet backwards pull up our loop on our hook yarn over go through two yarn over go through two so all we're doing is alter alternating those this is the front Yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, and then the back. Pushing that double crochet to the back. You want to alternate that and then um, slip to join and make probably two or three rows. It's however long you want your ribbing, and I will meet you back. All right, so this is my hat. I ended up doing two rows of alternating front post and back post. And then I did one finishing row of single crochet. Now I'm thinking about going to get a pom-pom to put on here, one of them furry ones, but I'm not sure. If I do, I will be sure to put the information in the information box as well as update the thumbnail. So let's move on to the cowl. All right, so moving on to the cowl, I have, for the cowl we have to chain multiples of five plus one, and I've single crocheted all the way back. And now I'm going to slip to join to the first single crochet. Okay, you are going to have this little thing right here for the tail, but I'm going to come back and fix that at the end. Um, you can also, if you want to, join at your chain and then single crochet all the way around. That is crocheter's choice. I just find this easier. So in that same stitch, we are going to make an alternative chain two which you should be an expert at now. Same stitch, a double crochet. Okay, so we should have two double crochets in that first stitch. We are going to skip four, one, two, three, four, and into every fifth until we get back to these two double crochets. We're gonna make that double crochet, that double V crochet, or double V chain one which is two double crochets chain one two double crochets completely the same pattern just a couple things that are a little different we're going to skip four one two three four and into that fifth stitch we're going to make another double v two double crochets chain one two double crochets Skip four, one, two, three, four, into your fifth stitch. Make two double crochets. Chain one, two double crochets. Skip four, one, two, three, four, 
skip four, one, two, three, four, into that fifth stitch, we are going to make our last set of two double crochets. Chain one, two double crochets. Skip four, one, two, three, four, and that lands you back over here into your first stitch where you have the two double crochets. Actually, one, two, three, four. So it lands you in the one next to it before your last one, before your first one. Oops, too many yarn overs there. So it's your very last stitch going to be two double crochets. Sorry for the confusion. And then we're going to chain one and then we're going to slip to slip to join in the top of that first single crochet, the alternative chain two, slip to join in the next stitch, slip to join in the next stitch. We're just going all the way around until our first chain two, which is right here. And then just like the hat, we have slip stitch. We're going to go into that chain one space, single crochet, alternative chain two. I mean, that's our first double crochet, our second double crochet, chain one, second double crochet. The chain, the uh, stitch count is different because for the cowl, we don't want it tapered. We want it to be straight, just like this. And it goes straight up if you do uh, in multiples of five. And again, um, I just, I'm not going to show you the rest of that because it's pretty repeat pattern for as long as you want. Um, also, again, you can remember to do your single crochet row here or, or at the end, do a single crochet row. You might also want to measure, use a tape measure to measure around your neck. If you already have a cowl to go by, that's great. You can measure, you can use that as a measuring tool. Um, and also I wanted to mention if you want to make like an infinity scarf where the, um, the cats are facing you, you could just like, however, I think I chained 110 for this particular cowl. Um, you can like triple that and then just, you know, fold it around your neck a couple times, loop it around your neck. Um, but yeah, this is my pattern. All right. That is my cat pattern in a cowl form as well as a hat form. You can make a blanket out of this. Just make longer chains in the multiples that you need. Um, probably the chain five multiples. I want to thank everyone for watching. I want to remind everybody that I am not a professional videographer. And I so appreciate everybody's patience. Don't forget to comment, like, share the video. Um, a thumbs up wouldn't hurt. And together, let's continue to crochet it forward. Bye now.